Right, hey everyone and welcome back to Cade's Comics. If this is your first time watching the channel, make sure you hit subscribe down below so you never miss another video. If this is not your first time watching the channel, I hope you enjoy this video like all the others. So today for you guys, I thought I'd look at my shelves behind me and grab my top five horror comics. My aim with this video is to introduce new readers to horror and just give you some books to have on your radar. These are five books I really, really enjoyed reading and I thought I'd give you an overview of each of them and just kind of tell you a little bit about them, see if you want to read them for yourself. First up, we have one that's called My Friend Dharma. If you've seen the film that's based on this book you might know a little bit about it if not and you know who Jeffrey Dahmer is as the person you might know a little bit about it then this book is essentially a person that went to school with Jeffrey Dahmer before he did the awful atrocities that he did and it tells his side of things with Jeffrey and how his relationship was with Jeffrey and how Jeffrey went on to become the person that he became it is a horror comic this one but it's not a scary story in the sense of a haunted house or things like that this is a much more of a really eerie story and it's partially because this person was a real person that committed real crimes but it is a really interesting read and it's one that I would recommend it's pretty short as well so you can get it done in like one sitting I think I did it's all in black and white and it's an indie comic so so yeah, that's my friend Dharma, I'd really recommend that one. Next up we have an ongoing series, Something is Killing the Children from Boom Studios. This is a really cool comic because it focuses on tropes of the horror genre like slasher, for example, so it's very different to my friend Dharma. This focuses on monsters that are affecting this small town and killing the children as the title says. There's one family that see the monsters and that hunt them down. So what happens when one of them teams up with one of the kids who saw his friends die? These monsters attack this town, they go after our main character and it's really interesting, it's a great read. It is pretty scary and it's pretty gruesome, so it's probably for like older teens, same as the Jeffrey Dahmer book, but it's one that I would really recommend, and as I say, it's ongoing. I have volume four behind me. If you saw that in one of my most recent hauls, you'll know that I'm looking forward to rereading this and doing a big read through of the entire series. To follow on with the slasher vibe, we have another one, Maniac of New York. This is volume one, and again, it's another ongoing series. And again, I have volume two behind me, and I'm looking to reread this and read volume two. This is from Aftershock Comics, and it came out a couple years ago now. Essentially, it focuses on what if Jason Voorhees was a real person in New York, and how would that affect the everyday lives of New York citizens? So this issue is called The Death Train, and that's because you have an automated train in this that the mayor is really, really eager to get working. The serial killer in this, he ends up getting on the train and he ends up hunting people down, and you can imagine just where that goes. It's a lot of fun, and the art style is really interesting. It's one that might put a couple people off, so I am recommending this based on the story. I am aware that the art style might be a little hit or miss for some people, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. So yeah, that's Maniac of New York. And now we're halfway through this video, I just want to remind you, if you are enjoying, hit that subscribe button and that like button down below so you never miss another video. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, and I really think we can do it. Number four on the list is one of my all-time favourite books. This is my favourite horror book of all time. This is Outcast by Robert Kirkman and Paula Cita. It follows Kyle Barnes, who experienced a lot of trauma when he was younger because of supernatural entities and how that affected his life growing up. He is the only one that is able to exercise these demons from the people of the town, and so it follows him and his priest friend as they go around town exercising these demons but then it becomes so so much more. It's from Robert Kirkman, the guy that wrote Invincible, The Walking Dead, Marvel Zombies, loads of different great things and so if you haven't checked it out please go check Outcast out. Interesting story actually about Outcast that I've mentioned before. So after the success of the Walking Dead TV show AMC went to Robert Kirkman and asked him if he had any new projects. He mentioned he had Outcast but he hadn't actually started writing the series yet. They immediately greenlit the series for TV and so the pilot was written at the exact same time as the first issue of the comic. That's why throughout the book you have these little individual panels that come between the main panels. Almost like a shot reverse shot that you'd see in a TV program. I find it fascinating and it's something that continues on throughout the entire series so it's something that you can really imagine being up on the big screen and finally a book that i read recently and covered in my five recent reads which you can see up here this is i hate this place this is a new one from image comics and it follows a couple who move into a haunted farm it's a farm that they inherit from one of their family members and they don't realize that it turns out to be haunted this is volume one and again it's an ongoing series the plot is all over the place but in a really good way you have so many different things going on so many interconnected connected things going on. I really, really enjoyed it. It's one that I would really recommend. And just as I mentioned with Something is Killing the Children, that's for older teens. And I would say all five of these books that I've looked at today are. I Hate This Place definitely is. It is actually pretty creepy. It's pretty scary. Some of the imagery in it can actually be quite frightening. So I would say that's definitely older teens. Outcast because it just features ghosts 
and things like that which are probably a bit too scary for younger readers. Something is killing the children is a bit too gory, a bit too violent. Same with Maniac of New York. And then you have the eerie creepiness that is My Friend Dharma. So that was my top five horror recommendations. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below. Consider leaving me a suggestion as well. What are some of your favorite horror comics? Horror is a genre that I've really enjoyed for a long time in films, TV shows, things like that. So exploring it through the medium of comics is really interesting to me. And I love to see what different writers and creators are able to do. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. And I just want to say thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.